can anybody share with me uh, their understanding of the subject? Yeah, so who can share with me something on Emmy? What have you heard about the subject? Kokonsabi of Yedia Chiro. Can somebody talk some Kokonsa for you? Uh, what have you heard about the subject? It's about. Um, Excuse me. Yeah, it's uh, an aspect of information that they have for management. Okay, so an aspect of information gathering of for management for decision taking or decision making. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Any other idea you have about the subject? You did that in the university uh, in tech, right? You did something about money accounting, some costing things, cost and management accounting. Did you do anything? Uh, did you do anything? You did something about it. Now certainly, man accounting is not going to be. A huge deal, especially with the no syllabus. I love it. I love it because a lot of things have been taken out of the syllabus. So we're going to be focusing on six core issues about management accounting. The first thing we'll be discussing will be what is referred to as contemporary issues, contemporary approaches to management accounting. Contemporary approaches to management accounting. That is the first issue we'll be focusing on. Now, under contemporary issues to management accounting, among other things, we'll be focusing on, we'll be looking at business ethics. Then we'll be discussing other key issues in management accounting, such as throughput accounting. I, I, I wouldn't list those things because they are already in the, in the shadow here. So under this topic, under this broad heading, we're going to look at business ethics, throughput accounting, activity-based costing, value chain analysis, balance scorecard. All of these things are under what? This heading. And from the syllabus weighing, that is 15%. Please note that now it is a requirement that business ethics plays a key role in the accountant's profession or behavior. For that reason, in almost every examination setting, you are going to see some questions on what? Business ethics. That is why in almost every subject, right now, you are going to see some aspects of what? Ethics. So we're going to be covering that, but you must make, you must make sure you understand because oh yeah, they are, there is at least a five or six months question in the exam hall waiting for you on business ethics. Are you getting the idea? So that's one you, one you have to understand. So 15% from the syllabus weigh in and we'll be covering issues such as business ethics, um, balance scorecard, throughput accounting, activity-based accounting, value chain analysis. And that is already covered in, uh, in my schedule there. Second aspect has to do with budgetary and budgetary control. Budget Okay, well, let me put it, budgets and budgetary control. Budgets and budgetary control. That is also a 15% aspect. And this is why we will be focusing on the typical things you know about budgeting. So we're we'll looking at what is budgeting, processes of budgeting, various types of budgets that businesses prepare. And we have what we call the functional budgets and then the master budgets. So we're going to be looking at how we will prepare the functional budget and how we will prepare the master budget. The functional budget refers to the budget of various departments within the organization. So we're going to be looking at how to prepare the sales budget, the production budget, the um, material budget, the purchases budget, the labor budget. All of these guys are what we refer to as what? Functional budgets. Then at the end of the day, we're going to merge all of them together into the master budget, and that is going to come into, in other ways, like the cash budget, and then the budgeted income statement, and then the budgeted statement of financial position. So that is what we're going to be doing under budgeting. Definitely, there is a question on the master budget that the examiner is going to ask you to prepare whether it's a cash budget or budgeted income statement or 
budgeted statements of financial position. Nemo, before you come here, you must understand how you prepare these what? Functional budget. It, because it is the results of this. Until we move over there like workings, then you now come and put them into this main budget. So that is what we'll be looking at in budgeting, and that is also 15% on the syllabus grade. Then we come to the third thing, my favorite area, and that is management decision making techniques. Management decision making techniques. Management decision making techniques. Management decision making techniques, this is where we'll be discussing issues in relation to um, standard costing and then variance analysis. That is also syllabus grading, 15%. Okay, so here we're we'll dealing with standard costing and then variance analysis. A very fundamental aspect of the job of the management accountant. How you compare actual cost or actual results against what? Budgeted results and then investigate as to the reasons for the variances. So that is what we'll be discussing typically under management uh, decision making techniques. So that's the third thing. Number four, we'll be talking about the issue in relation to short term decision making. Short term decision making. So for short-term decision-making, among other things, this is where we look at limiting factor analysis, uh, relevant costing analysis, make or buy decision, then outsourcing decision. Certainly some issues about break-even analysis will also be discussed in this point or at this place. So we'll be discussing some issues about break-even. So now the short-term decisions include relevant costing analysis, so relevant costing, limiting factor analysis, talk about make or buy. We talk about issues in relation to break-even analysis or cost volume analysis. Then we we'll talk about outsourcing decision. Outsourcing decision. For syllabus grade wise, that is going to cover 20% of the syllabus. 20% of the syllabus. Meaning that certainly we're going to be having a question coming from this area. And the favorite area for the examiner is relevant costing analysis. Why is that favorite? Because that is what will happen. It is called special order decision. So for instance, if we are an event organizing company and Joe Mattel wants to organize an event, then he comes to us. And he wants to organize an event at the Accra Sports Stadium. How much will we charge Joe, uh, Joe Metal and make profit? To make that decision, we will be using what? Relevant costing analysis. If we are a contractor and somebody comes and says, build two bedroom, three bedroom house for me with this specification, how do we determine how much we charge the person? We have to use what? Relevant costing the, uh, technique. So it is going to be a critical uh, technique that a management accountant is going to use. So certainly, for November 2019, there is a question waiting for you on relevant costing analysis. Nonetheless, companies use resources that, or companies use resources that are limited in what? Demand. Okay, oh, sorry, in supply. So limiting factor analysis is also going to pump up. Make or buy, break even analysis, outsourcing, will be handling all of those things as well. So that is the third, the fourth thing. Then we come to the fifth thing, which students don't like a lot sometimes. It's called long-term decision making. Long-term decision making. And here we are focused, that is 15% on the syllabus grade. And this is where we're going to be focusing on the issues about investment appraisal. Investment appraisal. So that is what primarily we'll be discussing at this point, investment appraisal. Primarily, that's what we're going to be discussing. That's 15%. And then finally, 
we look at performance evaluation. Performance evaluation. So how do we evaluate the performance of an organization? How do we decide whether this company is doing well or not? We here we will be focusing on divisional performance evaluation. So if a company has three or four divisions, then the issue about transfer pricing is going to also be critical at this level. So if you check the syllabus grade, this is 20%, this is 20%, this is 15, 15, 15, 15. And your questions, five questions in all, are going to spread across board in each session of the syllabus. So for syllabus wise, this is what you have to understand about what the examiner wants you to cover in relation to that. But let me also mention here that there is an objective that you have to have at the back of your mind when we are at each session of the syllabus. When it comes to the contemporary approaches to management accounting, this is our objective. That by the end of this one, students should be able to identify, explain and apply contemporary approaches to standard costing of projects. I'm reading this from the syllabus, okay, so you, don't, you may not have that. To identify, explain and ap apply contemporary approaches to standard costing of products, services and explain and comment on their applicability. What does that mean? It means that we are how we are. The things that we are going to be discussing there, like cost control, cost reduction, business ethics, uh, balance scorecard, throughput accounting, you should be able to do that and use that to help businesses to make what? Decisions. Very critical. Then second one, when we deal with budgeting and budgetary control, you should be able to identify and explain the issues of budgetary control in management decision making and prepare key budgets. Listen carefully. Prepare key budgets. The syllabus is there to guide us. So here, you are not just there to talk about how we do budgeting, but how we prepare what? Key budgets. And the word here is key. So we are looking at the master budget, the cash budget, the budgeted income statement, and the budgeted statement of what? Financial position. As I said, these guys are going to be like workings. However, because this is the first time examination sitting, the examiner may be generous and not ask you to do these two, but will ask you questions about these guys because it's a first time examination. Nonetheless, this is the key budget that we are going to be focusing on as students.